quick little video. Uh, I just gave them a toy that, well, a, a blanket thing that crinkles to see what they do with it. It's a quiet morning this morning, but they got up early. Um, and it's going to rain, so they can't go outside. Yeah. I'm having to change their toys frequently because they get bored. Actually, their other pen is bigger than this, so I swap them around or give them time to walk around the house supervised. See, this is what'll happen if you've got washing on the line. I was going to say, um, just remind people, I put a video on uh, a while back on how to do a Basset puppy's nails so they like it and you don't have problems with them later on because they're done here every week with no problems. Um, so the video is just called How to Do a Basset Puppy's Nails on YouTube to show you how to do it. And then you don't have problems. And um, so if you're saving your newspapers, your boxes, um, what else? When you're walking your dog, your puppy or your dog, if a strange dog or person comes towards you, especially if they're coming fast, step in front of the puppy because then they know that it's your position as boss and you're going to handle whatever the situation is they don't have to feel threatened by an oncoming <coughs> dog that might be off lead racing towards them that they don't know and if you step in front of them between them and the oncoming dog or person they'll know that you're you're going to handle it whatever it is because um poor james had colombo attacked by a doberman a couple of months ago very nasty and luckily James is strong and able to cope with handling an aggressive Doberman but most people wouldn't be so um, if something like that happens get between you the oncoming dog and you and between the pup and the oncoming person or dog that's looks potentially a problem and then you won't have a puppy that grows up to be fearful they'll learn to get confidence that they're not the one that has to do the protecting that you are actually the boss it's a little thing but it makes a big difference um yeah an aggressive dog is not a nice thing and um, if ever you get in a situation where someone's attacking your dog, you need someone else to, to help. Um, mind you, if, if a dog was attacking one of my pups, they, they wouldn't last long. <laughs> I'm used to separating dogs. The safest way of separating two fighting dogs is to pull them both um, directly opposite directions with from the, with their tail with another person who knows what they're doing as well. You go one, two, three, pull. Um, if you've got to separate two dogs, it's happened to me in a park. Um, the owners didn't have the foggiest idea how to stop the two dogs fighting and one was getting very hurt. Um, so my husband and I went and separated them because you can get bitten if you don't know what you're doing. Well, that's a depressing subject for this morning, isn't it? Um, what else? Poor Elise, she's so tolerant. <laughs> what 
let's all go. Um, I recommend um, advantaged um, puppy food for large breeds, but when up till they go, they usually are still on um, a black hawk smaller kibble because they're not big enough yet to have the bigger pieces. So when you give them the advance, you might have to soak it a little bit in water just to get them started for a week or so and then they can chew the bigger kibble quite easily. But like at this stage, they can't chew hard kibble very well. So they get, get it soaked. Yeah, that's an op shop purchase from a few years ago. Puppies like the crinkle noise. Alright, okay, I better go and do some washing. It never stops. <laughs>